afternoon, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 2 p.m. update. And, oops, sorry, I didn't mean to do that, but uh, I did it. Uh, currently, uh, we'll leave these charts up on the screen. You've got all the U.S. indices trading to the downside. Dow's off 278, S&P 75. NASDAQ 100, 461. Russell's down 23. Semi's up 109. You've got spot politics, which is up 8 and 7 tenths percent to the upside. You want to watch that one-day rate of change come day's end. If it's above plus 10 percent, expect and anticipate some type of uh, at least bounce, perhaps a uh, bottom. But what we're going to do normally, we go take a look at the indice charts out here. I thought what we'd do is go take a look at the, some of the sectors inside the S&P 500, what the index ETF charts are telling us. And that's what you've got up on our screen. So we've got a pullback going on inside of the queues. They pulled back to test the queues, the top of its bullish, a bearish structure daily profile and a oscillator and change line. This could be where a bottom would form. If it doesn't, what we'd expect is price to get back into the 352.63 level. And that's the real key level that price would need to hold. The SPY is also pulling back and basically testing the top of its daily profile and very close to its oscillator and change line. Again, that could be a signal that this is creating the C point of an A to B equals CD to the upside. In the XLK, I'm just going to go along the top here. The XLK is testing the top of its profile. So that is still bullish. It would need to close below 159.97 to then suggest to run to 158.75 out there and below that 154.09. But right now, support is held. The XLB, the healthcare sector, just an inside day. That means that the trend that's in place should continue. Well, then that suggests that the XLB is going to go target 136.35. The Dow Diamonds above the top of their daily profile, well above the uh, red oscillator and change line, it's a stronger index or index ETF than the SPYs or the Qs or the Russell 2000. So it may not get all the way back there if, in fact, we see a bottom in the Qs and SPYs. The Russell 2000 also pulling back and testing its oscillator and change line. Now, if it fails to hold this level, then price will get back to the 193.93 area. The XLF, kind of an inside-ish day, not a bearish signal out here. So this suggests that it wants to continue to move higher. Yesterday, you had the XLC, which uh, uh, Facebook uh, is a part of. It gets up to, but does not cross the breakdown level of 76.83, and today it's fallen off the cliff. The XLC looks like it wants to pull back into about 70.22 out there. Folks, stay tuned. Your favorite polar bear, David White's up next. After that, Tom O'Brien will take us on home. If you'd like to listen live tomorrow to the Trader's Edge Show, we're going to record that here between 8 and 9. We'd love to have you join us. If not, it will certainly be played between one and two. Have a terrific Thursday, folks. We'll look forward to seeing you on Fantastic Friday.